and this video I'm talking about iMovie and in particular how to edit a short film using some of iMovie's little editing tricks. So it's a longer video than I would normally make but there are a lot of things that I do cover here and I pretty much walk through the whole process from start to finish. So sit back, enjoy, grab a cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever you want to do and hopefully you learn something new from this video. Thanks for watching, bye. So when we open up iMovie, we are greeted with all our other projects and we've got this button here that says create new. So we're going to create a new movie. Don't worry about the trailers, they're not very great. Click on new movie and away we go. First, let's grab our footage and drop it into the timeline. Now I've got more footage than I need. So the idea is that I'm going to cut it together so that it makes sense. First thing we want to do is we want to take all the sound out because it's going to be like a silent film with music playing. We don't have any dialogue, we don't have any talking. So down here we're going to grab those sound um, bars I suppose. Yeah. And we're just going to bring them down to zero. See those little sound waves disappear. Okay, so now the sound is gone. Let's have a look at what we've got. Okay. So that's the whole scene. Now, most of it's pretty good actually. There's not a lot of editing to do, but I think we can make it a little bit more interesting than it currently is. Also, you'll notice that there's some issues with you see him lock, the, lock it there, and then you see him come out, and then you lock it there, and then you see him lock it again there. So we've got to crop out the bits we don't want. So over here, let's grab this little setting here, and we're going to drag that out um, so that we've got so that we can see our footage a little bit bigger. All right, so first things first is he gets up and he walks out of the shot and then he gets up again and walks out of the shot. So we don't want two, we just want one. So let's go with there, I'm gonna click there. I'm going to use a shortcut on my keyboard and I'm going to go Command B and that cuts the footage in half. The alternative is I can go right click and I can go split clip. I'm not sure why they've gone with command B, B for Bob, but they have. So I'm gonna delete this bit here on the keyboard, clicking the delete key. Okay, so we've got that and we wanna cut it about there. So again, click on that spot, right click, split, or Command B, and we'll delete that little bit there. Let's watch that now. Perfect. Just check it again. Great. Okay. Now, this is not a very good angle, so we don't really want this one. We want to see him coming out the door like this. So, let's go about when he touches the door, let's cut that there, Command B, we can get rid of all that bit. As soon as he touches the door handle, that's our spot there, get rid of that. Perfect. Right, we want a close up of him locking the door, bring the key in and he turns the handle just before he turns it. Okay, now here, notice his hand isn't on the key, whereas here, his hand is always on the key. So we need to chop this a little bit. Right there. Or, 
I've got another idea. For my cut, I'm going to do it a bit like this. I'm going to show you that lock. I'm going to cut it about there. And I'm going to go back to here. Cut that there. And I'm going to put that one in between. And I'm going to get rid of this one. So let's watch that. Perfect. Now as he's walking off, what we'd like to see is maybe a zoomed in shot of the key in the door. So let's go Command B about there. All right, let's see how that goes. All right, he walks off. And then we have the key in the door. It's not a great zoom. <laughs> It'll do. That was a very, very fast trip to the toilet. So, <clears throat> what we can do, what we should do, is add in another clip. Let's get one of those SpongeBob clips where he says five minutes later or something like that, and we'll put that in. So, I have gone and got some SpongeBob time cards, and let's drag that in. There. Boom. Now there's two minutes worth of these. So we don't need all these, we just want to get one. So what one do we want? Let's go two hours later, that'll be fun. Right there, we're going to split that with our command B. Delete that with our delete key. Two hours later. Do we need any of those? Maybe. Three hours later. Let's add this one in as well. Get rid of this one, keep that one, we'll get rid of those ones. And we'll put this one, we'll just hit this one here for a minute. So let's have a look. Goes to the toilet. Two hours later. That's better. <laughs> Alright, so he comes out. He sort of stands there and looks at it before deciding to try it. Do we trim that bit out? I think we do. So we get him there. As soon as he stops, we cut it. And maybe there. I'm going to cut it there. I'm going to get that three hours later and I'm going to drop it in there. Three hours later. Okay, and what does he see around the corner? Well, that's a great question. Here's another little trick. At the end here, I'm just going to split this clip. I'm not going to delete any, but what I'm going to do with this little bit here is I'm going to zoom it in. I'm going to click on the cropping tool, and I'm going to click on Ken Burns, which is a name of a, a thing where you can zoom in or out. So I'm going to zoom in like this. So now, what does he see? Who knows? That's where you get to decide the ending for yourself. Let's put in a title at the start. Let's just grab a simple one. Uh, let's call it, we'll just drag that in. So you just drag it into the front. And we're going to call it Stuart's, apostrophe, Stuart's bad day. By Michael Pope. Now, I just want a different font. Now, we want some music. iMovie has lots and lots and lots of sounds. Um, so when you click on audio, you want to go into jingles, which it already was on, and find something appropriate. You could always download your own music, but you want something that's appropriate to this style. So, I've used this this tune a thousand times, but it does seem to work for this. So I'm just going to drag that in, and you know what? I'd like to zoom in right here. I'm going to zoom into this point. So I'm going to cut that, and I'm going to use my good old Ken Burns again. And see how it says end here? I want this to be the start. So I'm going to flick that around clicking on that. 
Now this is the start. I'm going to zoom that in. So it starts on a nice close-up of him sitting at his desk. And let's watch it zoom out. I think a bit of a zoom out here would be good too. So I'm going to add more Ken. <laughs> Flick that around. And just a little bit, not too much. happy with that zoom in. Let's just zoom it in a little less. Maybe from there. Now we've got sound overlapping sound. Two hours later. Now I would like the sound to actually cut here so I'm going to cut the sound here and just drag this over. Two hours later. That seems appropriate. And because it's two hours later, maybe we should change the time of day. So let's go up to our clip filters here and we're going to change it to day and to night. Right, so now it looks like it's been, well, so we have to do that to all of them. Can we do more than one at once? I don't know. Let's try it. Day and tonight. Yep. So even though we've changed the filter, we might be able to brighten it up a little bit. And clicking on this thing here and just brightening it up just a bit so we can see his face. We want to keep that blue tinge on it though. Three hours later. Again, we want to cut the music. Three hours later. So once you're happy with your film, you go up to the share button at the top and choose file and then give it a file name that's appropriate. Stuart's bad day. You can put a description in or not. Now, we can upload this as 1080p or 4K. Huh. If I went 4K, that's going to be 355 megabytes. That's pretty big, but it's not too bad. And quality is high. If you wanted to download fast, you would drop the quality and drop the resolution. See how the numbers change? So 163 megabytes, that's a lot better. But resolution 1080p. I'm going to stick with 1080p and I'm going to go with high quality. I think that would be fantastic. And then we go next. Oh, I'm just going to save it to the desktop so that when it's finished I can find it. And you should do the same. And you'll see it goes up here. And it has a little circle. And when that circle fills up with white, it'll generally be finished. Then you should be able to then upload your video to Google Classroom or wherever it is that you are putting it. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye for now.